What is up, kids, camp, volunteers, and small group leaders specifically? Um, Man, we are about three, we're just under three weeks out from camp, and I have been doing my best to, to not just annoy you to death. And so what I mean by that is uh, you're about to have more information about camp given to you over the next week and a half than you've ever wanted. Um, Some of you are are planners and you have wanted it, but um, it wasn't quite ready yet. But here's the good news. It is finally there. So this video and and email it's attached with or attached to um, is really just to tell you uh, these are the these are the dates to put on your calendars. Um, one of them is way more important than the others. That is July 9th. That is a Sunday. It is the day before camp starts at 11 o'clock. So we have an 11 o'clock service, and we are going to have a leader meeting. Now, this is not a 100% mandatory meeting, uh, but it will be highly, highly, highly beneficial for you to be at that meeting. Now, I say that if you normally attend the 11 o'clock service, my request is, go to the 930 service or, or skip the 11 o'clock and come to our meeting. But if you're like, hey, I'm out of town and I don't get back in until 6 p.m. that night, like you're okay. You don't have to cancel your vacation to be there, but please be there if you can. Um, it'll be the day before camp. That meeting will go from 11 to noon, you know, right when service gets out. Um, and then afterwards, Julie Sutter, who oversees all of our decor and theming for camp, will be starting to, to theme out the lobby. And, and if you want to stick around after noon, um, she would love all kinds of help to make our environment great. So as families walk in, um, as kids walk in on Monday, they get to come into this just awesome, incredible room. So July 9th, uh, Sunday at 11 o'clock in C1. I have not had permission to use that room yet, um, but we're just going to take it over anyway. So that's the first date. The other dates are, I'm going to look over here. Um, next week, which is Monday, the, gosh, you know, I just wrote down Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, so I don't want to, I don't want to lie to you or be wrong. Um, Monday, the 26th from 10 to 1130, Wednesday, the 28th, from 9 to 11, and Thursday the 29th from 3 to 5 p.m. So the first two are a.m., second one, uh, third one's p.m. Um, we're just doing small group assembly, making stuff that's going to go up for decor, random stuff. But some of you have just said like, hey, if you need any help with anything, what can I do? And these are the days we're going to be doing stuff. Um, someone has already printed out, um, Kaylee, uh, Kaylee Olson is one of our volunteers, uh, for camp. She actually came in and printed out like almost all the name tags. I say almost because more kids have signed up since then. Name tags are almost done, which is awesome. Um, on Monday of next week, which is that day, uh, the 26th, uh, my day is building out the small groups, putting you with a co-leader and putting kids in your group so that by Wednesday, you will have a full, full, full list of these are the kids in my group. I can text them. I can contact, you know, their parents. You know, you'll get the kids information. You get the parents information. I can contact the family, say, Hey, my name's Trevor. I'm gonna be your kid's small group leader. I'm so excited. And then you and your co-leader can start working on, Hey, do we want to get matching bandanas for our team? You're going to have a team color. You're going to have a team number, you know, and this is for organization and stuff. And again, you're going to get more on that later. Um, the final edits have been done on all of our small group stuff. And so, um, you're going to be some of you next week. If you come in on Monday or Wednesday or Thursday, uh, you're going to be putting together small group supplies. And then, like I said, you're going to get all of that to look over it ahead of time, because I want you to come in going, I know my co-leader, we've already met for coffee. I know my kids, as far as I, I have their names, I have, um, you know, some of them are going to have friend requests. So you're going to even know like who's friends with who. And, uh, and then you're going to even get to look at all the small group stuff ahead of time and go, I have questions. And so uh, on the topic of questions, here's your job right now. As you have questions, I want you to email them to me. And what I will do is compile a list, combine the questions. And I'm going to send out a couple more videos like this where I'm just going, Hey, you've asked, let me answer. Now, if it's a question about like, what are we going to do for small groups on day one? Don't ask that question. You're going to find out. But if it's just simply like, hey, what time do I need to be there? That's a great question. Eight o'clock every single morning because we're going to have a meeting from eight to eight thirty every single morning to go, hey, let's lay out the day. You're going to get a schedule for the whole day, but let's lay it out and show you. Um, On Tuesday, we might have a meeting that goes, hey, we did this yesterday, a little hiccup. So we're going to make this little tweak, make your life easier. 
Um, but just constant, constant, constant communication. Um, you know, we are, we're just so excited. We're at 304 kids signed up. We are at 61 small group leaders signed up. Not to, not, does not include um, people doing just the check-in or, or Angie who's running all of our food stuff or Julie who's doing all of our decor stuff. So um, I would say overall, we're probably up to close to 100 volunteers um, to run the week, which is just incredible. 304 kids is uh, 60, almost 70 more kids than we had last year at Kids Camp. And this is the biggest camp we've ever done. So um, I'm super excited. It's going to be a great week. Um, and, and so just be on the lookout for more stuff. Um, I'm probably going to try and send you an email every single day, just going, Hey, quick update. Hey, quick update. Hey, quick update. Um, because I'm excited. Like I'm, I have been, I have been anxious this whole time of going like, are we going to have enough leaders? Are we going to get our stuff done? Um, are the smart groups going to be good? And I'm past all of that. We have enough leaders. That's, that's awesome news. We have enough leaders. Um, we have a billion kids. It's awesome. Our, our small groups, I'm very excited about Nathan Stang from Oklahoma is flying in to be our speaker. Um, Daryl Lee Rassier, uh, no, she's married, Daryl Lee Baker. Um, she got married this summer, uh, or last summer, I guess she is our host. Like we got a great team. And, and you guys are gonna do awesome. I'm gonna fill you in on as much as possible. Thanks for watching this. It's, uh, six and a half minutes is too much of me talking. You don't care anymore. Let's have a great week. Um, so I will see you on July 9th. And, and if you're available, I would love to see you on, on July or June 26th, 27th, or 29th at uh, 10:30. Uh, sorry, 10, 9, or 3 o'clock. So have a great one. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.